This was guessing that was going to happen. He did have some stalkers in position, has immortals and sentries going back there for to take care of it. It's not enough with Stim. Meanwhile, he kind of missed with his force on a low ground again. Luckily, an immortal can take care of Marines pretty darn well. Probes are pulled into the engagement in the main, and now Zealots being worked in. Immortal trying to come into the fight as well, but the Marauders, they're too much. Praise calls GG. That's game one of this best of five. This could be. That was... Trace has to figure out a way to stop those drops as fast as possible. Because if he can't allow himself to, for that to continue. So. Yeah, he was soundly defeated in that game. Uh, and right now we're going to look at what that next map is going to be. And it's a bit of a time filler right now, Weak Link. I thought I heard you saying something about an apology coming out of Stefano. What was that yeah. about? Um, actually, just recently, right before this all got started, there was an apology, uh, actually by EG and Stefano, that was uh, a released. It was a release statement about the comments that he made, which you, if you browse Reddit enough, um, you would have seen the comments about something about a 14-year-old girl. Yeah. Um, not a situation I think we want to go into heavily into, but it was something that was said... Uh, to Bling when Bling was streaming and so now Stefano is actually not receiving pay for the entire month of October and he will not be allowed to attend lands either uh, for the entire month of October uh, as as uh, um, I'm missing on the word here but as <laughs> as punishment I get well punishment. yeah punishment uh, to for the or being reprimanded comments? reprimanded it's the recommendation for the comments that he made. That's what, and he also had to release a apology statement. But oh, that had so, to be weird coming out of Stefano. I'll look for that. It's uh, just on Team Liquid that you caught it. Uh, Team Liquid and Reddit. It's actually uh, the statement was released on EG's website, but you can find the full write up on Team Liquid too. So if you'd rather go support Team Liquid and go to their website, then you can do that. You can read about Stefano on EG on Team Liquid's website. It's real funny, but. We have a map, we're going into game, and it's WCS Ohana, which means family uh, in Hawaiian. That is true. I double checked that after somebody said that. But <laughs> here we are. Game two. Praise is down a game. Strikers is up a game. And our gold Protoss player starting in the bottom right of family, or Ohana. His name is. It's yes, praise. And then his opponent, in the upper the left hand corner, what? we have, in the blue, it is STS. Who has, needs to change his name for all the casters of the world, so that way, they, that way we don't oh. have to see STS yeah. again. Yeah. XO's. Yep. XO. I'm so sorry, XO people out there. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Ohana, a good map normally for mech from Terran. Do we have an XO waiting? This one's for Seether. <laughs> Strikers calling it out like Babe Ruth pointing at the fence. I'm, I'm curious as to how that affects Praise, personally. Um... And I'm also curious to see if, uh, well, I, w I wouldn't say he's on tilt, but you know, after a game like a loss like that, you definitely yeah. can't be feeling good about the series. And then the person comes out and says, <laughs> <laughs> "Never mind, it's all okay. It's all okay." <laughs> well, that's pretty much where you just GG out if you're strikers. You're like, "All right, well, you win that one." <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> well played, well played, good sir. Golf clap, well played. SCVs but yeah, no. alright, if you look, you actually have a dancing SCV in Praise's main, but that's... And are we gonna go with the one racks expand again? The probe, oh, gets the SCV kill, first blood of the game, however, the racks just barely finished. I don't know how I feel about Striker's comment. Ooh. <laughs> if we can't, if we don't read it, though, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Let's not have a Stefano moment. Anyways, um... <laughs> uh, 
But no, it looks like just standard play coming out for strikers, and Braze is gonna throw down a pylon in the main of strikers. I don't. Oh, I don't did he not see this? This How is a. Is, what is uh, this? He knows it's there. What? Are yeah. You I think he's just gonna kind of like let it finish because there's no way warp gate can be done by now. So it's just kind of like, well, you're just going to have a pylon there, and I'm going to let it finish, so that way it's wasted minerals. Yeah. I mean, he's in the base right now. He sees two pylons there, so he knows that there's not a proxy location with a forge. Mm -hmm. So it's not like he's really got to worry about it. It's just a yeah. little awkward. Hi, pylon. Oh, okay. So this was really smart on Striker's part. He basically said, if I go kill that pylon, uh, then the zealot comes across the map and does damage. So if I just ignore the pylon and then focus on the zealot, then I can go kill the pylon later anyways when warp gate would normally finish. And I can take care of the zealot. So Strikers basically isn't falling for any tomfoolery right now. So no this the is a non -tom stalker arrives too late too. If the stalker had arrived when those marines were hunting that zealot down, still man maybe would have managed to do something interesting, but overall NGS praise would Losing a lot there. 150 minerals gone already. And, well, yeah. <laughs> well, the pylon still isn't dead. Right, I haven't included that. That would be 250 in a moment here, as long as Strikers doesn't ignore it for too long. Well, there's one Marine on it now, but the, oh, the warp gates. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately for Praise, he didn't, like, add on warp gates really quickly. It was just like, well, now I just forgate you. You know, like some awkward off the cuff play but that that's probably not the best idea in this situation either so that's it just it feels so awkward to see just a pylon sitting there in base you know it does it's when the entire, die soon though. yeah when the entire point of it was just to distract the terran so that way he can die to sell it but it was very cute it did not work the way he intended it to strikers playing very very safely Putting that bunker down. He's got a lot of Marines out already. One Rack's expand. You don't get too much safer than that. He's following it up, though, with that early third command center. And that's pretty greedy, but I think he's feeling safe after last game. Feeling a little bold. This is actually Striker's build order that he does. He goes up this to is. three Racks, and then he adds on a third command center. And the point behind this build is that uh, he makes it look like it's a traditional opening, right? Because he yeah. has the three racks, so he has the production there that if you count Marines and you know how many Marines there should be at a specific time, mm -hmm. it'll look normal. It'll look perfect, like there's no difference, and you wouldn't react. Ah, uh, Stalker dies. His praise doesn't react fast enough to pull away. And there was only one, one Marine that got killed in that, too. So that was almost a free Stalker, too, for Strikers. But... So this is Striker's build. He's pat. He's uh, taken this building. He's refined it actually. So this is actually real. This is really nice to see. To see him doing his build, his his own style right here. That's somewhat standard, somewhat not. But definitely agree with you. It's very open ended at the beginning. Like right now, immediately after finishing that third command center, he could go in any direction that he wanted. Really, he could transition into mech if he felt like it with this build. It wouldn't be too efficient, but it wouldn't be too terrible either. Interestingly, Praise has four simulators down, all fully saturated. He's getting a lot of gas as the Robo facility down, but he didn't build anything with it. He doesn't have an observer. Never mind, he does have one observer on the map already. There it is. Moving across the middle. Uh, Going to find. He's got pretty early blink. Well, He's got Blink on the way, <laughs> yeah. with plus one, plus one coming down with his double forge and his Twilight Council all at the back. I'm thinking he hopes that's safe from drops, but I don't know, because it's not right up against the edge. There is an area there for Bio to land. Striker's Stryker. actually got it. Yeah, just got that Observer, and it seems that he just knows the timing of when an Observer should be coming across the map with a traditional uh, three-gate then Robo. And that's how he timed that one out. I would actually, because he has that watchtower, uh, yeah, and he has the first watchtower, I would like to see him just kind of float the third command center over to the third now. Because what's what's Prey's going to do? You know that the timing is the standard timing. 
Oh, now he sends it over, but I would have liked to have seen it a little bit sooner, because... It, if anything, you do have one free scan, in a sense, and you could always drop it right there. And see if he did add on extra gateways, but you could... You could tell that Strikers was reading that it was a, more of a... It was the same, similar... Sorry. It was a similar style to last game's build order, and so he didn't need to worry about losing to a giant push from Prez. Yeah. But another observer on the field, and a double drop while a push across the map, and there now there's a cannon plus a few stalkers, and the cannon is Prez's style. He likes to use the, the cannons to prevent drops, so that way he doesn't have to have as many units back, so he can have a larger front in his natural. Oh, this probe just misses on the right side. Almost Ooh, caught. Hurts. Yeah. But Strikers is going to come into the middle of the base, and Praise is actually focuses on the natural ramp. He's not looking at this drop right now. And he's just now no noticed. Yeah, he noticed. Oh, he can't decide which way to engage. And actually, leaves all his sentries on the low ground, but misses the force fields completely. All the bio already inside of his base targeting down the sentries and force fields his own ramp because the this drop was going to come down and crush that group yeah, in here. but now he can't engage with his stalkers up top link is done though actually some nice blinks away from the concussion shells of the marauders now he can come in and crush it from two directions and strikers with a really nice idea actually gets cleaned up Let's see, but he goes right into lost, Ghost yeah. from here. Yeah. I mean, he already has Mobius Reactor done, and he's right into Ghost now. Plus two attacks. It's interesting timing. Yeah, 40 seconds before Stim is done. I'm not entirely sure why he would choose that. But he did manage to do quite a bit of damage. Uh, didn't kill too many structures, just two pylons it looks like. But he did uh, really damage the gas supply of his Protoss opponent, as we see only... The uh, plus two weapons upgrade on the way. Nope, never mind. Ground armor just started. What are we talking about? Lower left hand corner, the drop does see that there's a pylon. Nice reaction timing out of strikers there. Who, never mind, just decides to go in anyway. <laughs> Interesting. Well, and we also have a double drop on the right side of the map with uh, stalkers pushing out to try and catch it, but uh, it slipped yeah. right on by. Oh, actually, he caught it just barely. And he's That's turning around. But there's a bigger drop in the natural right now, killing off the probes. Oh, with the stim, is it going to be enough? Oh, not quite. He was so close. Killing the, the nexus. But, yeah. Going for the high school. All the way. Poor our guy. He is done. Now he's going to focus on a couple pilots. Doesn't get out, though, and that's a bit of a mistake. He doesn't focus anything down in particular, and he's going to lose that entire army. Unfortunately, this is true. Oh, I got one sentry there almost as a pity. Good pity, effort. Pity sentry. Congratulations. <laughs> Strikers, with only three Marines, manages to take down the forward pylon of praise that was in that fourth base location. Three Stalkers now hanging out awkwardly, waiting on their reinforcements to arrive. And there's a pretty big bio army from Strikers coming up the ramp right now. Uh, he does take out one medevac and walks away though, but these bio forces do have plus three attack already while plus one armor is just finishing. So they're they're like the essence of a glass cannon at the moment. They have no armor, but they have a lot of attack upgrades. So it yeah. would be very scary sure. if these zealots get some the top. pretty cute blink micro is actually delaying this attack on one side, but on the other side. Stim goes down and Strikers is going to get up this ramp. Not enough force fields, only one. Focusing down the Immortals, walking forward, tanking the Zealot damage with the Marauders. Probes are pulled. Strikers definitely going for the win right now, but with the probes, Praise gets to clean this up. However, Units tab shows 51 probes to 66 SCVs. Game's not open. It's not open. No, but not like, by far. 27 I, workers killed though. Man, Strikers is not like probes at all. No, he's not a fan of uh, people actually being able to build stuff in this game for some reason or another. That doesn't seem to be a policy. He does. He just doesn't like it. And we have three cannons now. Four cannons now going down from Praise to make sure that these drops become less and less effective as the game goes on. Uh, 
another double drop going out and it just seems like strikers just wants to harass praise until he he leaves until he goes insane 